And what is going on, everybody? My name is Travis, and welcome to SF Bay Area Sports Talk. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. The San Francisco Giants have added some right-handed relief help as they have signed right-hander John Brebia to a one-year $800,000 contract. Now, as a Giants fan, I think this is a terrific signing for us. Now, Brebria won't officially be added to the roster until closer to spring training. And that is due to the fact that he is recovering from Tommy John surgery, which made him miss all of the 2020 season. But the Giants do like where he is at in his rehab right now. So it does appear likely that we will see him added to the roster as we get closer to spring training training. Now, I really like this move a lot. And you look at the additions now with right-hander Matt Wisler, another big, nice addition this offseason for the right-handers in this Giants bullpen with some very talented young arms. You got right-hander Reyes Maranta, who can throw a hard 97 mile an hour fastball, and he is coming back from injury. And you got Trevor Gott returning for another year. And I think he will be having a bounce back year and be used in those 6th, 7th, and 8th inning situations. You got the young right hander, the Summeriner, Tyler Rogers. So a lot of great pieces in this bullpen. And, you know, for the Giants to have been able to acquire two high quality right handed relievers for literally just two million dollars that is just very impressive and so you look here yeah eight hundred thousand dollars for this contract and you know missed all the 2020 season from tommy john and did have three really great seasons with the cardinals and so that is something that is very encouraging and with him, you know, still, again, very young. He's only 30 years old. And you're looking at what he has done. He is a former 30th round pick who broke into the big leagues in 2017 and had a 3.14 ERA and had an incredible 1.10 whip. And that is really impressive. You know, when you're averaging almost literally just a base runner per every inning pitched, that is very impressive. You know, if you're averaging anything below 1.25 whip, that is very impressive. Uh, averaging, you know, 1.50, so about a base runner and a half per inning pitched, I would say, is a lot. So just an incredible whip. And you see to have done it in 161 appearances for the Cardinals. And in 2019, he pitched in 66 games with a 3.59 ERA, averaging 10.8 strikeouts per nine innings. So you know that he's an arm that you can go to in those strikeout situations and those big moments in games. That is something you really love to see. Now, he ranked in the top 20% of MLB pitchers in most advanced metrics in 2019. And his fastball averaged 93. 5 miles an hour in 2019 and had an incredibly strong spin rate and in 2018 he regularly got his fastball above 97 miles an hour so you know there is a little bit a uh, tick down on the velocity but still when you're throwing at 93.5 that is really really impressive and you see to be a two pitch guy complementing that fastball with a slider which opponents hit just the buck 69 off in 2019 I mean that is just an absolutely unhittable slider and that's how you can be very effective if you've got an unhittable slider and a hard throwing fastball and yeah with this move Giants look you know looking for that addition Additional relief help from the right side. Again, the Matt Whistler signing was very nice. And, you know, something I had talked about a lot is I really wanted to see the Giants go after Liam Hendricks and sign him to become the closer. And, you know, so you wonder with these two big sign, uh, nice signings for, again, just such incredible best bang for your buck, uh, $2 million to pick up Matt Whistler and now to pick up John uh, Breb Brebria. You know, just really, really impressive. And yeah, so I don't know if we'll see if, um, so you know, Liam Hendricks. I do hope 
that we can still sign a Liam Hendricks or another potential type of closer, but who knows where the Giants are going to end up going. You know, I still, again, really hope that we can get Trevor Bauer. I just think that would be absolutely phenomenal, and we have the money to do so. And I think that would be a really great investment because, again, with this Giants team, I think we literally are, you know, one or two key absolute key pieces away from you know putting us over the top and being a world series championship contender and you know i loved again the signing with anthony discofani to boost our rotation and you know we've spoken about the upside that this giants bullpen has they have a lot of talent in this bullpen and as we know you know 2019 or 2020 we blew so many games this year from our bullpen so again if we would have had a lights out closer someone to rely on so uh, again that is still a huge priority and and, you know, again, it, it, I really hope the Giants can solve that, you know, signing someone. But if it, we have to search within the organization to find a closer of the future, you know, we do have some great candidates that could jump to that role. You know, with Reyes Maranta, he's a guy I really think can, he's got the stuff with his nasty slider, that nasty fastball. You know, then you got Sam Coonrod in that bullpen who, again, we saw him s close out some games this past year. But with him, you know, it's all a matter of, okay, can he harness his stuff? Because that is the big issue with a Sam Coonrod. But when you got an arm that can go 100, 101 miles an hour with the fastball, you know, you really love the possibility of what he can do. And yeah, I love these two additions. We made these right-handed arms with Matt Whistler and John Brebbia this offseason. So I'm really liking how the bullpen is setting up and we know how talented this offense is. So yeah, I am so incredibly excited for the 2021 season, as I'm sure all of you are. And, you know, this is going to be so much fun and I'm so glad that we are all here to witness it uh, right in front of our very eyes. And so with that being said, thank you so much for checking out today's video and if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button to show your support thank each and every one of you all for your incredible support your likes your comments your engagement has been incredible and it means so much to me it really helps out the channel big time so thank you so much again everyone and let me know uh, what you think of uh, changed up something as you can tell in today's video so we went over an article covering the signing uh, from Alex Pavlovich on uh, John Brebbia. So let me know if you guys uh, liked uh, how I did it there with the article in the background and my voice recording over uh, the, you know, uh, so yeah, we'd we'll love to get your thoughts and perspectives. And then also, of course, bringing you back here with the live picture as well. So let me know if you guys like that and if you would like me to open up future videos like that or even if maybe I come on screen first and then maybe we go into the article. So like kind of like off camera. So yeah, love always am open to per suggestions and ideas on ways I can improve these videos and make the experience for all of you better. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much again for the support, everyone. And uh, let me know down below in the comments section, San Francisco Giants fans, love to get your thoughts on this move. Do you like the move? And do you think that this signifies that maybe we aren't likely to land a big name closer or if maybe that is still on the horizon and you know whether we're going to get a Trevor Bauer or what do you think of maybe some trades can it possibly open up you know so there's a lot of things w that could happen but we don't know and you know we just wait and see patiently so always love hearing all your thoughts and perspectives and as always until next time we'll see you all again back here at SF Bay Area Sports Talk have a fantastic day everyone strive for greatness. We'll see you later.